Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, Fuller here, and today I'm going to talk about something that a lot of people have asked me about, and that is how to integrate WISE 2022 into the Unreal Engine 5. So if that's what you're looking to do, this video is for you. It's actually not as hard as you think it is, so here we go. The first thing we need to do is we need to create a new Unreal project. Okay, so we're going to do that right now, and we're going to do this first and this is important. So we're gonna go here, we're just gonna do a third person game. We're gonna call this Wise Test and we're gonna create as we wait. And here we are. Nothing crazy, nothing to write home about. Just a normal Unreal project. Now we're gonna close that out. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna open Wise and we're gonna go down here to, uh, the, here's the version I have, 2022.1.4.82, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we have the latest version. And so we're gonna go down here to, uh, or we're gonna click on our Unreal tab, and right in here, we're going to click, this is our white, this is the project we just created, that's why we had to create that first, so that would appear here. We're gonna click this button right here, uh, into Unreal 5.1, integrate wise into project, then we're going to come down here and we're going to click integrate. That will take a second. Okay, now that that's done, it says operation completed successfully. And now what we want to do is we want to open WISE because we need to make some assets. Okay, and this isn't a tutorial on how to use WISE. Uh, if you don't know how to use WISE, that's a whole nother thing you need to do and uh, you can go to Audio Kinetics website and you can actually there's all these free tutorials and videos and there's a curriculum actually there you can get certified I got certified in January uh, WISE 101 and 201 and it's really cool um, so this isn't a tutorial on how to use WISE but I do want to walk you through just what you need to do just to make sure we're up and running and that we have it connected so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, create an event and we're going to call this uh, event, um, let's see here, we're going to call this, what was my two, um, music. And we're going to create a second event, and we're going to call this laser. No better combination than music and lasers. Now we are going to go into audio. And we're going to go under the actor mixer default work unit. We're going to add a sound effect. We're going to call this, you guessed it, music. We're going to add another one. We're going to call this laser. These are red because they don't have audio files. We're going to fix that right now. We're going to import an audio file. None of this really matters. It's just, I'm just showing you how to do it. And um, you got to have something to see if it works. Uh, where are my audio files? So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to open music. So this is just a little instrumental track I wrote for a TV show. Called, uh, it, the song's called The Conversation. And we're going to import that. And now music is blue. And we're going to do the same for laser. We're going to import audio files, add files. We're going to laser rifle B. This is a sound effect I made for my buddy Jesse's uh, VFX course. And let's go up to layouts, to the designer layout. And we are going to, under event, or actually we're going to go, yeah, we're going to go to the designer layout. Down here you can see the events. We're going to click on laser. And then we are actually going to drag over the laser audio to there. And that's going to play when that event is triggered. It sounds like this. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? Let's do this too. Let's automate... Let's enable the randomizer. Oh, I didn't save it. Hold on. Let's go. There we go. Negative 2A. Actually, you know what? Let's do it even more drastically. Let's go up. Here we go. Okay, so you hear it changing pitch. And I just wanted to put a, a filter. I, I wanted to put some sort of wise logic in it so that we can test it and make sure that's working in Unreal. Now let's go over to music. We're gonna click on that one, and we're going to import. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm on the wave, and that just sounds like this. Okay, now what we're gonna do? We're gonna to go to the music event, and we're gonna drag that audio to there. So now, when this event plays, and we don't, 
want to do anything to that. So we have our two events with audio. We're going to go over here to sound banks and we got to create a sound bank. We're going to go uh, new sound bank. We're going to call this main. You can call it whatever you want. Um, just got to make sure you remember what it's called. Now we're going to click on main and we're going to drag these events. We're going to drag laser and music. Now when we click on our main we'll see that that includes those two events then let's save that now we're gonna go over here and we're gonna export the sound banks we're gonna generate all and that's done now in theory all of this should have just migrated over to Unreal 5 so let's see if it does so we're gonna let's keep wise open for now we're gonna open Unreal 5 5.1.1, okay? Then we're gonna go into, where's the session I just created? Somewhere over here. So we're gonna open up our game that we just made. Now this is gonna open up our game that we just made, Wise Test. Is it Wise or is it W Wise? I always call it W Wise. Now check this out, ta-da! Over here our Wise Audio folder got implemented and you see there's only one sound bank, it's the init bank, but check this out. Let's go over to Wise Pickers, and we're going to open Wise Integration Settings, and in here, we're going to uh, select the Generate Sound Banks folder. Now, in this, we want to select our Unreal project that we just made, uh, Test Wise. Oh, here it is. WYS test. We're going to open that. We're going to go to the sound banks folder and we're going to click that. And we're going to select that folder. The other thing I want to go under Unreal Audio Routing, it says experimental, but what the heck. I'm going to go both WISE and Unreal and use both those engine. And it's going to ask me to restart, which I'll gladly do. It's going to start, it's going to restart Unreal. And there we're good. Let's close this out. And let's go to Wise over here. Open Wise integrations again. You also got to make sure that Unre uh, Wise is enabled under plugins. Um, and let's just check that out. That's super important. Mine already is, which is why it appeared. It wouldn't have appeared otherwise. Um, we're going to click Generate Sound Banks. Now, something uh, I want to point you to this really great article I found online from AboveNoiseStudios.com. Uh, really great articles there. Uh, I'll put this link in the video description below. But uh, this is really cool. This is new in um, WISE, and it's uh, WISE offers two main types of asset management. So you got sound-based, which is the old way of doing it, and then you got event-based packaging. And what event-based packaging is, is basically everything Every event makes its own sound bank, and it, it is, it's all automatically done. You don't have to manually do it, which is great, especially if you have a big project and lots of things to keep track of. Um, so it's a really practical approach uh, because all of the asset manages, is, it managing is done inside Unreal, um, and it, it has a seamless communication between WISE and Unreal. So things you do in Unreal immediately update the things you do in WISE and vice versa so the workflows work really well together. So um, we're going to do that. We're going to use the event-based packaging. So we're, in WISE, we're going to go to project settings under sound banks. We're going to click enable auto-define sound banks. And then we're also going to go to the root output path. And we're going to go down to the folder that we just inside our Unreal Engine, inside our WISE test. And we're going to click Oh, root folder, sound banks. And we're going to hit OK. There we go. Now all our stuff's going to... Now, if you look under here, all of our stuff is going to be automatically created in here. So let's save this. Let's generate all. And let's uh, minimize that. Now let's go back to Unreal. We have our wise... Uh, WY's audio folder here with this initial sound bank. Now what's cool, when we go up to this window here, you'll see now we have this option here, WISE 
pickers. And this is awesome because this is gonna give us access to everything that we created in Wise. So now we have access to all this stuff. We don't have to worry about banks and all that stuff because it's all right here uh, automatically. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull in uh, the laser event and we're gonna pull in the music event. And uh, that's all we need. Now, when we play this, uh, as an event, it's actually, we're going to hear the sound, which is going to be really cool. So let's just test this and see if the sounds are in here. If we go over this and we right click play event, boom, play event, there it is, stop event. Okay, so now we've got our assets in our game from Wise, and what's cool about this is anything we do in Wise, and once we hit refresh and update, it's going to automatically update this picker which is going to make things really easy now we're going to go into the game and we're going to uh, bring these sounds in and here's what I want to do okay so now we're going to bring these events into the game so the way we're going to do that we're going to open our blueprint level okay so we're going to click uh, event begin play we're going to drag off here we're going to post event and then uh, this is an audio kinetic as you see now um, that WISE is installed, we have this audio kinetic menu. So now we're going to post event. We're going to select music, and that's all we need to do. Now we're going to store this, compile this, and fingers crossed when I hit play. And there's the music playing in our game. Sweetness. All right, cool. Now, let's get out of there. Now, we're going to have a little fun. Let's create a new blueprint class actor we're gonna call this BP Fuller's laser I'm gonna double click on this let's just create a cube that's all we need let's make this a little smaller let's go half now we got our cube here and that's all we need for that we're gonna store that save it boom now what we want to do is I want to spawn this cube and every time I spawn it I want to trigger that laser sound inside the game from Wise. So what we're going to do is we're going to go um, to our third person map and we're going to go over here and let's just use a keyboard letter. Let's, let's say a keyboard letter L. When I press this I want to spawn an actor, oops, from class, which actor I want to spawn BP Fuller's laser. Where do I want to spawn it? Oh, let's just pick a spot. Let's um, say we want to spawn it uh, 12,000, or let's go 600, 12,050. And let's go try to adjust uh, location, but always spawn. Okay, so now, go in here. When I hit the letter L, there's our cube. There it is. All right, now it's not making any sound because we haven't attached anything to it yet. The other thing I want to do is I want to let's set a random float here. Let's pull this out just so it doesn't get on top of it. Let's go random. Random float from range, uh, let's go minimum 1,000, maximum 1,500, let's do the same for the, oh wait, let's go, I'm sorry, minimum 400, maximum 900. Then let's go for this, let's go minimum 900, maximum 1,500, then we're going to go random uh, also, random float here from range, in range, uh, let's go 10, no, let's go 50 to 300. Now, what's that going to do? Well, you'll see. It spawns them all over the place now. Okay, so now we're spawning cubes. Now, I want to make a laser sound every time that cube spawns with Wise. So, we're here in the cube blueprint. Um, now the other thing I want to do is I want to go to the event graph of the cube and I want to put on begin play oopsie no wait there's no okay 
on event begin play, we are going to post event. We're doing this inside the cube. And we're going to post the laser. The actor is going to be itself. So we're going to post that event on itself. All right, yeah, so there we go. So we've got our cube set up. We're going to compile that and save and go back to our world. Now, with any luck, fingers crossed, when we spawn this cube, we will hear a really cool laser. Wrong button. There it is. Bam. Nice. Now, um, one thing I also want to do is let's give this a lifespan. So we want to trigger a lifespan here. Um, set lifespan to, uh, let's go two seconds and then you're gone. Okay, so there's our lifespan. So now every, a, after two seconds, they're gonna disappear. There we go. Pretty cool, huh? All right, um, yeah. Oh, and if you listen close, it's changing pitch, so it's actually uh, doing what we told it to do in WISE. And actually, you know what, let's go back to WISE, and let's just tweak this event a little bit. So we're going to go to um, audio music, or we're going to go to this event music, and then let's go to layout uh, designer. Um, we're going to go to music event. Now let's, um, let's randomize this. Let's enable randomizer. And let's offset this a little bit. Boom and boom. So now this is going to be pretty noticeable on the music. So there we go. Let's uh, save. And let's go to sound banks. Generate all. Now this should update in Unreal for us. So let's close this out. Because I think we're done with that. And then let's go to Wise Picker. And let's hit refresh. And generate sound banks. That little bell means that something good happened. Now let's try it. Oh yeah. It has totally pitched it. Now again. Yeah, so it's working beautifully. Um, every time we start the game, that random pitch comes in. And um, so there you have it. So that wasn't too complicated. Um, I do want to push you to those resources I mentioned earlier. There is a link in the description of the video. But that's kind of how you get up and running with the Wise, the latest version of Wise and Unreal 5.1.1. Now, I haven't tried this with Unreal 5.2, but I am assuming it works perfectly. Uh, if I have any issues with that, I'll let you know. But anyways, hope this helps. Thanks again for checking out the channel. Uh, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.